Okay, while the installers are on break, I'm going to come in and show how to install waddles on slopes, straw waddles or coconut waddles, some of the things to keep in mind. This is a stormwater pond. It's a yeah, 100 foot slope, 3 to 1 slope, 150 foot, I think, in one location. So we want to break it up a little bit. Straw waddles are a great, great way to do it. Um, first and foremost, the waddles need to be on a contour. And the only way to really make sure that happens is to have survey your survey crew come in and set stakes at a certain elevation, whatever, whatever elevation that you want to install your waddles. So in this case, uh, survey was called in, and you can see that this line is about as level as you can get. So that's step number one. Step two is to dig out a little slot, just a few inches here. You got a little slot for the waddle to sit in, and side cast the material on the uphill side so that you can you can then uh, push that back against the waddle, compact it a little bit, and you've got a good seal. Uh, I should mention that this all needs to be done before you hydro seed. So this slope is finished. It's finished grade. It's been track walked. Now the waddle goes in place, um, and then the hydro seeding will take place shortly after. Also, this particular project uh, incorporated topsoil. That's not topsoil. But uh, there's three inches of a topsoil mix, a three-way mix with yard waste compost, sandy loam, and a screened sand. And then bonded fiber matrix will be installed over this. So let me walk over where the crew stopped here. I didn't realize it was so far over. But again, you can see the nice trench here on contour, nice and flat. What happens is uh, if you don't get the waddles on contour and you have low spots, then the water will flow to the low spot and create a washout. So these are coconut logs that we're using. They're just, these are special order 12 inch by 12 inch square. We just happen to have these left over from a stream relocation project we just finished. So we wanted to utilize them before they sit out in the weather and rot. So uh, this is not you know, it's not, a pro not necessary to use this exact same material. Most, uh, most of the waddles are round. So, all right, installation. Uh, it's almost impossible to drive a stake down through coconut. Uh, even if you jam rebar in here first and then drive a stake through. So what we've done is had the installer stake either side through the netting here and uh, they put two roughly on each end and two in the center. We made sure that they butted these together really tight so water wouldn't leak through and uh, looks like they're through, they're finished with this section and then we'll have them go back through and bring the soil back against it and they can just walk on it like this. Don't, doesn't need to be uh, perfect. And then when this gets sprayed with the bonded fiber matrix, everything gets sprayed completely. So you get a nice 100% cover, or close to 100% cover of over everything. And. Uh, you reduce your erosion potential pretty significantly. Now, uh, I should have mentioned that the purpose of doing this is to break up your slope. The longer your slope, the steeper your slope, the greater potential for erosion and sediment loss down to the bottom of your slope, which uh, happens, we happen to have wetland on the other side of the fence there. So this, this technique effectively breaks up the slope into two slopes, two shorter slopes. So you've got this slope here and then you've got this slope here. It just intercepts, gets in the way of water flows, uh, short circuits them, slows them down, spreads them out, uh, takes concentrated flows, puts them into a sheet flow condition which tends to reduce your sediment loss. 
Anyway, it's a great installation, great application of straw wattles wanted to show.